This is an animated chart of Android version distribution over the last 12 years. And yes, I think it's an important graph because this graph tells the story of Android's evolution over the years. And Android's one of the biggest issue which is fragmentation. And above all, Google is hiding one of the most relevant data about Android security. While this animation evolves over the next 4 minutes, I want to talk about this. Android is a very fragmented operating system. It basically means that there is no standard version of Android on the market. There are many different Android versions being run on various smartphones throughout the history of Android and there will be in future. Fragmentation and freedom are inherent part of an open source operating system. So, how does this fragmentation affect the users? Three things mainly. Security, the slow rollout of new features and lack of app support. As of now, there are 3 billion active Android devices around the globe and 26% of these Android phones are at least 5 years old and that's a lot of people. The older the version you get on your phone, the more susceptible it is to security threats and poor optimization, simply because it's not supported by your device Android version. On the other hand, it slows down the innovation for newer versions because the developers are forced to make apps that are supported on the older versions. Okay, at this point you may ask, what did Google do about this? Well, Google did take some initiative to fix this issue. The first major initiative in Google's long-term project to reduce development burden was Project Triple. Project Triple modularized Android by separating the OS framework from the Vent implementation. The next step in Google plan was to streamline the delivery of updates to the key Android components. Google called this initiative Project Mainline. It was introduced alongside Android 10 in 2019. They then set up a delivery mechanism via Google Play so they could remotely roll out updates to these key components without having to wait for OEMs to apply the patches themselves. Mainline did greatly improve how quickly devices received updated versions of important OS components. Recently, Google worked on Android generic kernel image, eliminating out of trick code and allowing Google to push the kernel updates directly to the end user. And yes, these actions are helping to fix a problem. The adoption rate of latest version of Android user is higher than ever in the history of Android. Unfortunately, there's only so much that Google can do since manufacturers are responsible for most of its fragmentation issue. But what makes things unethical is Google's decision to stop showing these numbers to the public. Google's desperate attempt to save their image, which is making the defragmentation process slower than ever for Android and ultimately affecting the end users like you and me. Ultimately, I think the best solution to slow fragmentation is to demand OEMs to deliver the latest updates faster and longer. For that, hiding these numbers won't help at all. So, I hope this video will add on to that voice. Since Google is slowly removing all these numbers from the internet, I could not find a single place to get all the data together. Thus, I created one by myself. The link is given in the description. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.